My name is Juan Aos. Uh, I come from Ecuador. Um, I'm the uh, coordinator, uh, project coordinator and legal advisor of Terra Mater. And we are an organization that works mainly with indigenous peoples in the Amazon region. I had a chance to um, get involved in projects with local communities. And I saw how uh, the injustice that I was referring to before uh, were developed in these areas. And I thought that there were not too many people uh, working in this area. And I thought that um, it would be really valuable for local communities to have the support and of, 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 of uh, lawyers and people that are knowledge, knowledgeable about human rights and environmental law. And that's how uh, I, I started to support the, the struggles and the, the, the resistance of, of local communities. Working as a human rights defender, and in my particular case as an indigenous people's uh, rights defender, uh, is particularly risky in, in, in countries like Ecuador, which, is, which are countries that are rich in natural resources, like mining and oil. Uh, so we are facing threats um, conveyed by uh, the state, of course, but also for non-state actors like uh, transnational corporations and national corporations as well. Civil society's voice is, is now uh, has become silent because of the ongoing restrictions uh, in the country. Um, apart from that, the, the increasing criminalization and the use of criminal uh, law to prosecute uh, human rights defenders and indigenous leaders is particularly uh, an issue uh, right now, especially for those defenders that are working in, in, in the defense of, of, of the environment and, and indigenous territories. I think that uh, the, the knowledge of, of several uh, human rights mechanism is, um, I think, it's, it's really useful, it's helpful, and is uh, now instrumental for the work that we are doing. Since sometimes in local um, jurisdictions, it is um, difficult to um, have access to justice and access to remedies, because in uh, particularly in my country, uh, the independence of the judiciary is not at its best, as its peak point, is not at its best uh, uh, condition right now, so uh, we have to rely on regional human rights mechanisms and universal mechanisms like the UN. So for me it would be really important to uh, strengthen uh, indigenous organizations through the use of uh, uh, national, regional and, and international um, human rights mechanism as a way to achieve uh, environmental justice in Ecuador. So that's my, my objective.